We're in Pohick, kind of the middle of Pohick Bay. There's a little island here. Typically, we start our sample. We do our first run around this island, come across this shoreline. Then we'll have to cut across the mouth of Akatee because it's super shallow. It's all silted in. And we'll go over here on a far point and start our bass and snakehead collections. Crap, that's the first crappie I've seen today. Oh, there's a big snake. So I'm John Odenkirk. I'm here with, with uh, Rob Willis and, and Mike Ozzel. We're both the Department of Game and Inland Fisheries. We're out of the Fredericksburg office, and we've been doing a survey for a long time, since 2004, when these snakeheads showed up in the tidal Potomac and its tributaries. Ready to go. Nice. And we're trying to gauge the impact of this fish on largemouth bass and on the ecosystem and, and um, gathering different biological and ecological data concerning the fish's abundance, how fast it grows, what it eats. So what we're doing today is we've been electrofishing in this creek and we're tagging, all, we're tagging and releasing all these fish. For these fish in this creek, they're lucky today. They get a free pass, then we give them a tag so they get a little bonus and uh, we turn them loose. And hopefully we either will catch these fish later in the season for our population estimate or anglers might catch the fish either by bow hunting or by fishing. And uh, if they catch one of these fish, they'll probably call the number on it and turn it in. We'll get some valuable data and they'll get a nice fish to take home and eat. In Virginia, we first found snakeheads in the open tidal Potomac River system in 2004. So it's been quite a while. We've been dealing with the fish here. A lot of people early on thought it was going to hurt bass, thought it was going to hurt a lot of things. What we've seen so far, that may not be the case. Snakeheads, we don't want moving around the state, but at the same time, we've got them here. We're stuck with them. But so far, fingers are crossed, it seems like their numbers are actually starting to decline. A lot of people like to eat them. A lot of people are catching them. Bow fishing's getting really big for them. Hook and line, everybody's just going after them because they're really good to eat. We encourage people to go out, catch them, take them home and eat them. They're fantastic. <laughs>